Hi guys, this is Ian, and today uh, we're going to be covering the song When You Say Nothing At All by Ronan Keating. Now with Valentine's Day just around the corner, I figured I should probably cover a few love songs, and this will be the first. Um, in, today's <clears throat> in today's tutorial, the song, uh, this song only uses, uses three chords, and those chords are G major, D major, C major. Alright? Now, um, this song can be broken up into a couple of sections, which are basically you have the intro, the verse, the, and the chorus, pretty much. And through most of the song, uh, the chord progression is pretty consistent. But let's just start with the introduction. For the introduction of the song, uh, you're going to play a loop of G major, D major, C major and D major and you play it twice so you play and then the the you'd go straight to the verse which follows this exact same chord progression so it would be from the introduction into the verse it would be So uh, just now the second part of the verse, uh, you will go to see where it'd be like Try as I may, I can never explain So it's C, D, then G What I hear, D, when you don't see, say a thing Alright, and the chorus is basically uh, G, D, C, D, which is the same progression as the verse so, uh, starting from the last line of the verse, would be. Mm. I can never explain what I hear when you don't say a thing. Into the chorus. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying. So breaking down the chorus, uh, most of the chorus is played using just G, D, C, and D. Because the smile on your face lets me know that you need me. Uh, there's a truth, there's a truth in your eyes saying you will never leave me. The touch of your hand says you catch me. And this part drags on a bit. Alright, so and then from there you just play the loop and then you go into the next verse. Alright, and that's basically how you play the entire song. Um, I've been getting a lot of people asking about strumming patterns, so just in case you're curious about the strumming pattern for this song, uh, I guess an easy strumming pattern would be C. Basically, 
So that's just a simple strumming pattern and if you're a complete beginner who's not comfortable with strumming, I would recommend just trying to go Just use the down, up, down strumming pattern and uh, let's see what else. Alright, um, let's say, uh, okay. Now I want to show you a couple of chords which you can use alternately if let's say for some reason you're not comfortable with using, doing these chord changes or you're just not comfortable with uh, uh, playing the main chords yet, alright? So an easier way to actually play the song is to use the chords C add 9 instead of C major and um, I guess instead of playing D, you can play D sustain 4, which is basically D with your pinky finger down here, alright? So an example of that would be, instead of playing, um, let's say, the, the first verse, you play It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart That's how you typically play it. If you're using the easier chords, you would play It's amazing I guess in this case, don't use D sustain 4 because it sounds a bit too... Um, the song doesn't sound clear enough. But um, in some instances of the song, when you're changing quickly, you can press D sustain 4. And I'll show you an example in a minute. So basically, instead of you going to the, the full C major chord, go from G, D major to C at 9. Alright, instead of G, D major, C. Alright, and this is what it would look like. This will sound like as well. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. G, D major, C at 9. Without saying a word, you can light up the dark. G, D major, C at 9. So that's how it would sound if you're using C at 9. And for a lot of beginners, I find that um, this is an easier option for them because instead of having to do the quick change, moving all your fingers around, you can just play this G, D, and C at 9. C at 9 has the same sort of shape as G major. So instead of doing these massive finger changes, which you might not be comfortable yet, you can just do that, alright? And you can play the song, you can sing it no problem. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's it for the tutorial. So remember, if you have any questions, please remember, post some, uh, just post some comments below the video or uh, send me a message directly. And uh, with that, I hope that was pretty clear. So good luck with playing the song and all the best.